Welcome to Fort New Vegas. So, last time I finally got a quest to go over to Hoover Dam, but I don't want to go deal with the end game just yet. So, I'm just going to wander over there, mark it on the map, and then try and figure out what I want to do. I never got around to finishing that, um, really having a look at that mod I installed for New Vegas Railways, because what I really want to be able to do for that to get the trains running again just so, just so I can see it working and for that I need to be able to deal with the death claw at junction which means I need a lot need quite a few more levels right, I also need a drink Where is it the glug glug there so I'm starting to wonder if I should go do a old world blues or I don't know, maybe for oh, dead money. Yeah. By the way, anyway, I, I probably should have marked this place on the map to begin with. Yeah, there's Hoover Dam. I've never been to the US. Heard the dam itself is quite something to see in real life. Hmm. Probably these rangers aren't attacking Veronica and so. Man, I'm exhausted. Moore's got us running drills non-stop. Ah yeah, I forgot to get this thing. I'm not gonna do this quest now. Just leave the issue of what the hell I'm gonna do. Brother to steal safe house for her. Let's go have a poke over towards uh, Red Rock. Rock, see if I can square things away with the great cans. That's enough to maybe persuade them to stay out of the war with the. Uh, not get involved in the in attacking us. The reason they think I'm a merciful thug is because of a sneak attack on that guy who was attacking the Fisher Springs camp. Missed. Aim is off again. Let me change how Veronica attacks, maybe have her wait until I attack someone, then charge in. Let's see what we got here. These are RCW. Even taking their help. Urban shotgun, not much use, but the bells are. I also want to get my repair up so I can get the um Jury rigging. So that is the single best part in the end. The damn game. Maybe it's too good. Which is probably heresy to some people, but whole future of New Vegas seems like it's up in the air. Guess I should wait things out before buying a condo in the Ultralux, huh? Yep. Talk about your tactics. Am I punching too much? I want you to change your combo, so I want you to not attack enemies unless I've already engaged them. What a coincidence! Oh, that's all then. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, her style doesn't really gel with my preferred stealth ultra shooter thing. As I was kind of saying about uh, jury rigging, it is kind of overpowered because 
you never have to pay for repairs again. If I were, if I were creating a game like a perk like that myself, I what I would probably do is um reduce the amount of health of health it would get, it would heal by repair by. As in, say you got a hundred points of you could wear a hundred points beforehand. You can only heal fifty or something like that. It's probably not. It's basically just to try and make it less completely overpowered. Because um, as it stands, as it stands, it, I, it's kind of. There's no reason to ever not get it. It's just too good. I know there's probably there's probably there's probably a better way to do it. That's just the way I'd probably design it if I was doing it myself. Yeah, sure, Veronica. The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course. We're going to fall apart, or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong, or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Why don't you just go back in your room? Wow, don't everybody... I could do that. You're not in... Alright, let's Great. do it. Thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their... Well, this is not what I expected. Okay. Is this going to work out? But didn't really expect this to happen, but let's see how it goes. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The pal Dan Scott. Can't really use it myself, but wouldn't hurt, won't hurt. Be a... Looking sharp, Ramo. Behave yourself this time, Veronica. All right, let's go see what the El if the elder is willing to. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? Well, now in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. What's up? Well... I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the code mm. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I own for that. <sighs> he means well. 
What now? I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. What can we bring him? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father Elijah? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. Let's head out. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Bunkers. They're going to be a pain in my arse, aren't they? Hmm. wonder where this terminal is going to be. Not far from here is one, so head over to Novak. See, just from the morning, so Cliff is not going to be open yet. Anyway. Food, water, sleep wouldn't be too, isn't too bad, but it wouldn't hurt a little bit more. Alright, let's see. Food and water. This uh, Lunch. And I still need to find surgical tubing. Where am I going to find that? Or to recycle some of that. Or she water at a campfire. Where, oh where am I going to find? Mm, nothing useful here. Let's only take a mosey on over towards this old terminal and see what's going on there. Ah, this unmarked shack. Vodka, menta, whiskey, whiskey, more plates, eggs. Might as well take what we can. Beer, no.
Hmm. Not sure that's really a way I'd like to go out, but there you have it. Finger? Ooh, fiery perch that was this give me. Oh, I'm not actually using any of these, so these right from station terminal. Let's see what we got here. And we'll do research now. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. What's a pulse gun? Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Like me? What's this about farming technology? Hmm, more or less. Supposedly it's a vegetation enhancer. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. Hmm. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. And the rangefinder? It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios 1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios 1 for a time. Lost a lot of people. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Rangefinder might be a problem. I reactivated Helios 1 and it's not powering a weapon. The hell. Well, how could you know, right? Okay, two other options still on the table. Let's pursue the pulse gun. Yeah. Maybe they'll think twice about engaging the NCR if they know one of those could be floating around. The notes say to look around Nellis Air Force Base. Get going then. Welcome back to Fort New Vegas. So last time I tried going to Vault 34 and got my arse handed to me. And Veronica died. So I'm going to try going to... Uh, the OSI here and see what they have what they have on offer. I think his office is somewhere over here, just opposite Miss Mr. Colonel Shoes. In here. Dr. Hildern. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Ah, uh, no. First I've heard about it. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops. Gets the point. Fair enough. My point is this. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one... Find the reason for this miraculous group. All right. I'll do it. Good. No need to check in. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower... Download all sure. the information on the central server to your pip-boy. 
and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data. Downloading the data will... Grand. Hmm. Did Dr. Hildern... Yeah, he asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One... Then about a week ago, there was a scientist. And he didn't... Nope, didn't mention anyone else. But now he's hired you, which means one of... Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any... But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and... I'll look for her. I had a good... Grand. So, it appears Dr. Builder hasn't been fully level with us. Well, we've already been to Vault 22. So, I just need to travel over there again. See? Just because it doesn't shoot lasers doesn't mean it's not worth looking into. We could do amazing things with this data. Indeed. Well, I'm, I'm also going to see if I can guess. Find Keely. Don't like leaving people behind if I can. So she doesn't spawn down here until you actually get the quest. Took your sweet time. Yeah, Angela Williams asked me to come find you. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little pedant she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. All right. What, what, what you need me to do? Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Anything we can get off these? Mantis four legs. And eggs. Mantis omelette, anyone? Oxygen recycling. Now, yeah, where is she? Doc? Ah. Good, you're here. Ready to. Sure, how can I help? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Any idea where these vents are? I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration... Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation system. There's one just along the... How exactly should I ignite the gas? In the area where the gas is active, any kind of fire or explosion. If you don't have anything... Sounds dangerous, Good. but I'll do it. Right. Should have brought something to read. Wait here, Veronica. Time for some dynamite. Hmm. 
Hm. Jesus, where did you come from, you... Right. Face through the floor. Through the world, because... That's how it works. Okay, that did not work. Okay, so that doesn't work either. I'm just gonna throw it from here. See if this does the trick. Yeah, this is probably where a long fuse dying might would really be helpful. Do I have any long fuse dynamites? No. Yes. Let's do one less perception, it doesn't matter. No, I do not, so I need to do this the old fashioned way. AKA. Oh, just when the standing around. Yeah, but it is. Better you stay here. <laughs> hey, Doc. Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Will take long? No, it shouldn't take. That's strange. This is. You wouldn't have. Well, they sent me to get them, so I did copy them. Yes, that. Those files need to be. A friend here is part of a group that can develop into something safe for everyone. You've given me no reason not to trust you. I've unlocked the doors. If you're heading back toward McCarran, well, what's up? You can guess. I'm sensor modules, but I don't have the right science skill for that. Yeah, the burden of the seal probably would want to keep that the sort of thing locked down. Right, let's get back to first, I think. This out of the way first. Am 
minor heat dehydration. Compass. Well, the elder didn't want to listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? I don't think there was any chance. Mind was made up from the stars. I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? Does that leave you? I... I don't know if I can stay. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do whatever I can until it comes to a slow or sudden end. You're the only one who can make this decision. Not even a hint, huh? I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any coming back. It might be something I'd instantly regret. Things are going to get harder for the Brotherhood before they get easier. I should support them in whatever way I can. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this. Let's get going. There have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into the area. If you're planning to take Veronica with you, be sure to have a good pair of earplugs with you. I'm kidding, Veronica. Put the power through the neck. Well, I'm out of the way. Well, still haven't completed the quest, the quest, but see how this goes. Right now, I'm going to head back up to Camp McCarran, tell your man this. Maybe. We heard Veronica talking with the elder. What's sound for what? She plans to respect the elder's decision. Respect no. No. Exec. Bugger! That is not what I expected. So I need to... Veronica, I hope... I brought you a present. This disc has secrets to breeding plants that can thrive in the wasteland. High Elder Maxim didn't found us to be botanists, Veronica. Think about it. No more trading guns for food. Total self-sufficiency. It's what we always wanted. This won't get us Hooper Dan. Yes, it will. If we feed people, they'll support us. They'll join us. What does the Codex say? A bunch of closed-minded <clears throat> bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? I think his mind was made up from the stars. I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? Would someone else listen to you? It wouldn't matter. The Elder has final say. The hell of it is he's one of our most progressive members. Where does that leave you? I... I don't know if I can work with the followers of the Apocalypse. Or I can...
I can't make that decision for you, Veronica. Not even a hint, huh? Jeez, I really am all alone on this one. I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any come. Things are gonna get harder for the brother. Let's get going. Of course, those guys are going to attack us as soon as we leave. Actually, I do have the terrifying presence perk, or at least I've earned it, so because of one of the mods I have. Let's see if I can use that to persuade them to back off. Look at Raymond, we'll see if he has anything to say. Your presence here, outsiders aren't even allowed to. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. That's right. Under the lockdown, all other personnel are forbidden to leave. Nope, that wasn't much help. Hmm. Ammo. Nice. Veronica talking with the elder. We won't. I will cast down your codex and bask in the dying agony of those who hold it dear. No. No. Uh, you were kidding just now when you said that thing about the codex, right? Alright, let's go over here and finish that. And see if I can get some more 556 five, armor piercing, because I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. Oop, there goes the super mutant sprinter. That is never going to not be funny to me. And yes, that is another mod. Here. King Please. just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just... Thanks for keeping her safe. That's why. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. Was well, the right thing to do. Doctor? I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. Hey, from Paul 22. Wonderful. By the way, that vault was just as dangerous as Williams thought. I don't see how that's relevant. The day I think yes, here it is. Here then. I'd be very careful with that data. You didn't see those plants in the vault. Your concerns are perfectly We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. Well Still need to get some more. More XP to get up another level. I don't wonder if maybe I should go do the uh from the DLCs just to get things up a bit. Welcome, sir. Alright, more ammo. These electron charge packs and stuff. I ain't gonna need them. Hmm, sorry to wonder if maybe I should start specking into the um brush gun if I can get it. That's those are not much there's the medicine 
Jesus, that is expensive. How much damage does it do? 81 versus 50. It does do a hell of a difference. So, let's back into the 44. What does it require? Welcome, sir or madam. You have my phone. I would actually just say how much it, strength it requires or what gun skill it requires because currently required it probably requires a hundred guns the carbine 75 because I have in effect the Five, so I have seventy five, yeah, just enough for it. All right. Well, now what? I do not have the guns for Quarry Junction. Need for forty. Need a lot more lead. Metal. You got any scrap metal? Welcome, sir, or... Improbable. Do like that back in um. Nipton. Nipton. Novak. There. I have no pressing reason to go out this. Have a poke around North Vegas. Probably just gonna end the recording here and just have a poke around, see if there's anything useful. Probably isn't, but you never. Sixties. Something I can get from here. Have sixties. Howdy. What's eating you? I think I know what you meant before when you were talk when we last talked. So let's see. One with the land. We see I listen, warrior. There are two kinds of folks. You load your gun like an ordinary man, or you load it like a devil. We ain't ordinary, are we? See, I pack good brass up with slow burning powder, then cap it with a heavy semi wide cutter bullet. That's how you make forty four ammo that'll put the fear of the Thanks, Jules. That's a long one, stranger. Sandy. So now I have, what was it, the... Odor? Or just the recipes? 44 Magnum hand loads. Hmm, let's go see what I can actually do with that. What that requires. 
Oh, back down to the gun runners. Sammy Wildcutter, hand load. Does more damage. Hmm, so I need a lot more lead. Which means a lot more scrap metal. Where am I going to get that? Good. Yeah, I'm not going to steal it. Or am I? Actually, I think there might even be a place to get nearby. Right? Yeah, the shack over here had lots of it. And... I suppose... Well, can't find any, so... Steal it. Now, let's give this a try. 19 rounds. What's I missing? Lead, which means more scrap metal. Build more lead. All points, semi wad cutters. For me to find some legionaries to try this on. Or possibly some Brotherhood fanatics. Something like that. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here and try and figure out what I'm doing next time. I'll see you around. Bye for now.